Hello. 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 Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. I'm good, ma'am. Patience. Good, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. When, when did you appear for this exam? Uh, so I appeared on December twenty second. It was in the middle of my fourth year, first semester. Oh, and uh, yeah, and I got my result on uh, January. I think January seventh, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Amazing. And what yes. was your score? I, I don't know the scores. We don't know because uh, it is just pass fail. Uh, US oh, oh, step one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That's amazing. And uh, what are your plans for step two? So I am planning, I'm still not decided yet, but I'm planning to either give it right after our second filters, which is at the end of the fifth year, or mm -hmm. uh, uh, it might be after my graduation, depending on how prepared I feel I am for it. Okay. But I think the best time would be just after fifth year, because I think I'll be fresh with the topics of the clinical subjects. So. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Nishad, so your admission was in 2016, isn't it? No, no, no. 19, 19. Oh, 2019. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I'm still in my eighth semester. I'm in my fourth year, second semester. Fourth year, second semester. I want to yeah. ask you about this, um, you know, like what's your experience with uh, DTMU? Particularly, yeah. what kind of role does university play for you to be able to appear for this examination, like in comparison to other universities, for example? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure about other universities, but uh, so when it comes to this university, first thing, the reason I came to DTMU was because I wanted to try out uh, USMLE because I was my main goal was USMLE. Mm -hmm. uh, and I heard that... Uh, uh, in Georgia, DTMU has a very rigorous uh, USMLE based curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, still, I would say actually DTMU exams are a little harder than the actual USMLE <laughs> because they ask them very, very tricky questions. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. they just ask things which are out of the complete syllabus, which I don't understand. But yeah. still, yeah, we I have uh, done well till now uh, uh, as far as it goes. And uh, so far, so good. And um, yeah, so when it comes to the USMLE itself, uh, during my, so the main thing was I thought of giving my step one after my first filter. So we have a filter after two and a yeah. half years, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we are done with our basic uh, clinic, basic uh, preclinical sciences. Yeah. Uh, so that was the motive. And especially after USMLE step one turned to pass fail, then it was a no brainer because uh, you don't have that much pressure as well. Uh, when it comes to USMLE step one, uh, mm -hmm. I, I thought I'll just get it over with so that I can concentrate on step two CK even more. Because mm -hmm. in step one, whatever, even if you score a very high score or just a passing score, you it is still a pass. There is no difference anymore now. Uh, okay. But in step two CK, the score is still there. So that has become the higher weightage uh, exam now. So that's why I opted to immediately do it after my filters. But there was a bit of delay, but eventually after it, during my uh, fourth year, first semester, I got it done with. Um, when it comes to the, uh, what do you say, registration part and all, the university was very compliant with that. There was no, it was a very smooth uh, registration process. And um, uh, after that, uh, during, because it was during my semester, because I, did, I wanted to finish it off in December, I thought of giving it in August of 2022, but it got delayed due to various reasons and stuff uh, because of my university quizzes as well. Uh, but in my um, first semester of the fourth year, I thought, let's just get this over with. And uh, so I communicated this with, our, with my coordinator itself initially. Um, and also I uh, chose the date in a such a way that it is during the rotation instead of close to some other DTMU quiz. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, other than that, yeah, uh, I talked to my professor as well, who who had I had an, uh, an obstetrics rotation at that time, and that sir was uh, very uh, kind enough to give me like a one week uh, uh, leave. So you traveled uh, for you to travel. Yeah, yeah, travel and also like ten days he gave me off because that was like my crunch time to have my yeah. last part of study. Mm -hmm. So that helped a lot. Other than and that, I was just doing questions every day. Yes, Where yes, did no? you give exam? Where yeah. did you give So I, I gave it uh, in Armenia. That is the Armenia. closest center to us. 
because okay, yeah, that's yeah because there's no USMLE pro metric center exam center in Georgia. Yeah. So in Yerevan was the closest center to me, and because it was in the middle of the semester, I had to give it in Armenia, and uh, yeah, I I traveled to Yerevan by train and uh, gave it there. Okay, amazing, amazing. And where where do you uh, stay now? Are you staying in Tbilisi or Ustavi? Yeah, yeah, I am staying in Tbilisi itself. Uh, so for us, sorry. So for us, uh, we after our first two and a half years, we don't have an option of staying in Rostov anymore because our all the hospitals are in Tbilisi, right? So we have to do yeah. our clinicals in Tbilisi. Uh, uh, for me, actually, after the first year itself, I came to Tbilisi because I just wanted to stay in an apartment and stuff more. Mm-hmm. So, but normally we have the option of the first two and a half years to stay in Rostov, and then Tbilisi is a compulsory. Yeah. You cannot. Uh, so. I'm living in Tbilisi, Ljubljana now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And how is that experience? Do you like the place? Do you like city? Yeah. Yeah. City. I've always been slightly more of a city person, but I would say that I do miss the hostel a little bit because of more people together. It was yeah. a different uh, vibe. I would say yeah. it was a different setting and environment. Yeah. What would you say? Like one thing that 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 you know juniors need to focus, or somebody who is taking admission now. Like, what would you tell them? Uh, regarding the USMLE? Not only USMLE, even about the DTMU. Like, why would oh, they choose okay. DTMU? Who needs to choose DTMU? Like, what should be the focus point? I would say anyone who is really serious about medicine and just doesn't want a graduation certificate, uh, mm-hmm. I would say should go for DTMU. Uh, but there are, uh, like, or sometimes DTMU can be very pressurizing because of the difficulty level sometimes can be overwhelming. Um, but I would say most of the time when a student is very serious about medicine and eventually wants to become uh, like improve his knowledge to the maximum level, yeah, DTMU is very good in the academics part. Uh, yes, I would say DTMU does lack uh, in the what do you say, uh, a little bit in the infrastructure department compared to the other universities in Georgia. But in academics, I'm sh- I'm pretty sure DTMU is at the top uh, for now, yeah. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you, really wish Thank you, you all the best. I'm sure you are going to Thank pass so step much. two and then step three and be in US. That's your <laughs> I hope, I really hope so. Yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah. long process, so I hope it It is a long yeah. process, but it's going to happen. We all know that, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the reason okay. I completed the step one as soon as possible, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Thank exactly. you, ma'am. It was really nice talking to you. Georgia, we are always there, yeah? And even if oh, we are not thank there, you, so much. you can just message me and... Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's that's really sweet of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank all you right. So yeah, all the best. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Good night, ma'am. Thank you.